Welcome to my painting demonstration. This time-lapse and speed painting video will show you how to paint a country lane. First of all, let us apply the background colour. It's cerulean blue mixed with acrylic white. In this case, I've covered the whole of the canvas panel to make sure that none of the white will show through in the painting later on. As this was a fairly small painting, it wasn't necessary for me to introduce an underlying sketch. As you can see, I'm now painting the horizon line. Next, I'm blending the horizon line into the sky. Here I start from the horizon upwards so that the darker part of the sky remains blue. Now I want to introduce some clouds. Without adding more paint to the brush, I go round the centre area where I first started applying the white paint. Now we can start with the first background trees, which are held in blue to give the impression of depth in the painting. It's the so-called aerial perspective. In order to direct the light, I now start adding some shadows to the right-hand side of the trees in the background, indicating that the light will be coming from the left. Now it's time for the rape field. Using lemon yellow, I tap on the structure of the plants. Together with the blue underpainting, the lemon yellow acquires a tint of green just like it should be for a rape field. I am now painting in the dark green colours for the background of a group of trees which will be placed on the left hand side. The ground under the trees also defines the outline of the country lane. Greens straight from the tube of paint never look quite right, so I use a mixture of different colours. In this case, it was raw amber with lemon yellow. Many different shades of green will make the trees look believable. The same applies to the ground under the trees. Let us continue scumbling and stippling the grass and the foliage of the trees. Having done all that with a well-worn bristle brush, it is now time for the rigger to paint the tree trunks. I have started with diluted amber to paint in the background trees. Following the rules of aero perspective, the lighter colours of the trees go at the back to give us depth in the painting. I am now working on the plants on the edge of the rape field. More lemon yellow has been added to the mixture of green. Another layer of lighter green is added to the foliage of the trees. Burnt sienna diluted with water gives us the underpainting for the path. There are now going to be some trees close to the field. I have learned that not all tree trunks are necessarily brown. Let me now stipple in the foliage of this new tree. Some burnt sienna mixed in with a green will give us some warm colours. The trees closer to us go in with a stronger mix of amber maybe even with a bit of Payne's Grey added to it. There will even be some green in the mixture as we apply the paint to the big tree on the right hand side. Remembering that the sun is coming from the left, we now add some shadows on the path. 
the branches of the tree point in all directions. It is important to use ever thinner brush strokes as you come to the end of the twigs. Again remembering that the sun is coming from the left, the tree trunk will have to have a lighter side. More foliage is added to the trees using different shades of green. Darker greens are used to indicate the leaves in the shadow. More and more lemon yellow is added to arrive at the brighter greens. With layer upon layer of different shades of green we create depth in the painting. It is almost as if the sun is beginning to shine. More leaves go in on the trees on the left hand side as well and now I use raw amber to paint the edge of the path. It is now time for some highlights on the areas where the sun will be shining. There is the brighter green for the grass and then of course there are some wild flowers too which can be painted in using white. This brings us to the end of our painting demonstration. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed the program. For more videos please go to landscapeart.org.uk